Hello my lovers, it's MJ from Ultra Love TV sporting another newly designed love t-shirt, Ultra Love. I know, you know, it is it is hella classico, but uh, it's a nice way to just share the love, spread the love everywhere you go. Uh, collaborating or teaming up with T-Mill and Rapa Nui, so it's all organic. It's send, they send them out. There's no plastic in the shipping, except for maybe like the stickers that you have to stick on the thing. to. Yeah, but... So yeah, we've got some, you know, well sourced. And then I've just basically gone with either basic all to love logo, the love in black or white, different colors, different styles. Uh and then there's like some rainbow stuff and uh that's it actually. <laughs> t-shirts, tank tops, hoodies, maybe no tank tops, t-shirts, box tees. There's some like crop. Oh, oh there's this one. You've seen me wear this one before. This is like a crop uh, jumper, basically. Um, this one's in pink and blue, as well as the black. Uh, and basically, like every few months, I just update and add, add some styles. So, and again, you might have to, they do, you know, return. So if you, if there's a wrong size or anything like that, you can just send it back. And I find the delivery in the UK is pretty quick. It definitely takes a, a substantially longer to get to the United States or Canada uh but they still ship it and I can like it still gets to where it's going so check her out thank you uh to Leah Somas for a beautiful review of some of the products and uh just for the you guys <laughs> for buying stuff it's always super duper appreciated so I'm gonna do a little reading for us happy Monday you guys happy to be here with you so it's divine guidance and love and clarity with these cheeky little readings and some entertainment photo. -hoo -hoo -hoo. Divine guidance and loving clarity for the lovers of the most high. Um, so there seems like a message is coming in. This is a message regarding your stability. Um, I'm feeling like possibly your home life. For some of you, it could have to do with an established bond or partnership. Uh, for some of you, it could be like tying the knot and that kind of thing. Mm. <clears throat> uh, the There's a bit of energy here of just be mindful. It feels a little bit more like just don't overdo it like don't party too hard or because that could it could upset the balance or something definitely need a little clarity there's this moon in the reverse and the temperance in the reverse usually feels to me like there's a little imbalance like we're not feeling great or we're feeling uh murky with regard to like maybe what we're doing or and it would appear that this energy is just coming up after some pretty high vibratory, like some celebration or again, you've gone to a wedding. It's there's been this super awesome message about your uh, your your creative life. And you're like, woo, and then der, 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 something's kind of coming in to be like, but wait, um, like, der, 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 der. <laughs> um, yeah, oh, Let's, let's try that again. Let's just have a little shuffle off of, shuffle off, I guess. Where is that even from? Um, still, still a little bit of a, the hyena, right? There's still a little bit of a, so I'm hearing the words, there might be a little jokester in your midst. Uh, it's not du super duper nefarious energy I'm picking up on, but And there is possibly a very powerful transformation or metamorphosis off the back of, again, this downturn of energy after like, yeah, say for example, tying the knot or like going to something super fun and feeling like everything's going and this message is awesome and I'm feeling empowered. And then, ooh, like things like the, like the, the scales tilt just that little bit more. And do you know, do you know part of that hyena, hyena energy is just making me think of just keep it real. Like, remember that when things go up, they come down. Remember that, like, 
in our own mind, we can, we can focus on one thing or another. The moon energy here. Oh, yeah. So because the moon is in the reverse as well, I feel like there could be a few little secrets coming out. Um, like secrets that maybe one person thinks is like okay and kind of funny and the other person is like, well, blam, that's, that's kind of heavy. Mm. Again, I'm not getting like something super deep and dark and twisted and nefarious. I'm just getting like one person thought one thing, the other one thought another, and then they assumed the person was lying, but they're not. And they're just like, ah, fuck, sorry. <laughs> he, um, See, and that's making me think of like it's the trickster energy. It's not, it's not bad, but again, who knows what kinds of feels can come up? Uh, and also, like for some of you, straight up, I feel that you you just are going through like a rebirth. So. Your beingness, your sense of self, you know, we've had it's just we're just alive, aren't we? <laughs> um and again, this I this this idea of the shining woman here is really like you tuning in to like more of who you feel you are and expressing that. And then that is you shining in the world, right? We don't it I think sometimes our our ego or like our conceptual mind we kind of get confused about things and like we're like shine we have to be a certain way it's it's truly truly just like how you feel about yourself and like almost always when we do the things that we're like oh no who am I to do that or like that's oh, not for me or decadar but then you do it and that's you shining like you shine when you when you just do you <laughs> and do what you want to do Fadio. Uh, don't be a selfish prick. Okay, I <laughs> I just so. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, what I, I mean that those things that are just pure in your your creative expression or your like miraculous insights, whatever it might be, or just this. There's sometimes I think it all gets a bit meh, like big, and it's so simple actually with regards to, like I'm finding that with healing the heart, it's like so much more to do with just like being disciplined in the heart space, right? And not going over and over and over and over the shits of life. <laughs> like focus on the gems, right? Mm, so, and I, and I, I'll just say that as well. Like that storm card is here. So, um, still be in it, you know, like still be in that emotional healing. There's like the uh, for some of you, there could be act actual storms as well, like floods or just, you know, things like that with the regards to the water. Uh, but then in my, you know, vocab, storming is like a, 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 meta, a kind of transformational process within self when we consciously let tears and basically detach. So you, you watch the emotional body like shift energy and endeavor to not hook, hook your mental awareness or attention into that just watch it because it's fascinating <laughs> if you can just watch the energy and then watch your mind reel whatever toxicity is reeling and then and then the storming as i call it is really just the like <laughs> um you know snots and stirs and um i i think that is always always uh not always actually those moments are often having to be contained in love, right? If if somebody's going to shame you and judge you for feeling your emotions, you're not in a safe space, straight up. So, anywho, ramble, ramble. Holla, 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 my lovers. Have an awesome day. Happy Monday. I'll see you real soon. If you want to have a booking, go to All to Love and subscribe. And remember, we're doing a giveaway. Check out the previous video, I think, and uh, enter to win. Go subscribe to alltolove.com and you might just win you soon a hoodie or a t-shirt. Holla Shazam. Have a great day. Peace out.